Hey there guys, and welcome back to Our Darker Purpose, where we continue to run the gauntlet to get to chapter 4. So, we're starting fresh today, and we're gonna do our damnedest. I was actually, um, debating on starting with, uh, the one class lesson perk that gives you 777 life, but, uh, every time you take a hit, uh, that permanently reduces your health. I was really thinking about doing that, uh, just to kind of mix it up a bit, but I decided, you know, we've been... We've been, you know, clawing our way back up in these runs, so let's, you know, let's just keep working at it. If we get, you know, completely down on ourselves and we need to kind of freshen things up, we can go ahead and do a challenge run or two. I wouldn't, ha I wouldn't be opposed to that. We have found the boss room, but of course we're going to explore a bit more. As you can see, I'm starting with seven juice boxes, six chalk. I believe a little bit of a faster roll speed. And uh, that's going to be useful because uh, we're going to be kind of going through this whole entire room trying to avoid the lightning uh, and the speed of the champion that is trying to hunt us down. Uh, so we took a little bit of hit, but uh, we're going to get the turtle. It's going to give us a little bit of damage resist. I think 10% resist. And we got a level. So we got one damage for each Edgewood Meritorious token, or we got 10 damage. Enemies are 50% more likely to drop chalk. I'm going to boost up the damage right now. And there is a... Oh, jeez. We're just taking a bunch of damage right now. And I can't stop getting hit. We're going to end up popping a juice box. And I will be fine with... Eh, we're resisting the damage. We'll go up here. Already ended up taking a little bit of silly damage, but that's okay. We did get the gourmet turtle. We are uh, leveling up already. Do we have enough tokens to buy something here? We could buy more chalk. The horn beast steak would be really nice. Uh, sadly, I don't think another six tokens are going to be given to us on this floor. Why am I going through the lightning poles? I'd rather just go down. Are they TV antennas? What the hell are they? I don't know. But, oh, you know what? We could. We're going to get it. Um, because I'm pretty sure this room has eight tokens in it. So let's just, uh, let's not roll into the spike balls, please. Getting an A on this room is pretty much not happening. But, uh, oh well. Okay, and it doesn't look like that token, oh, or the, that spike ball was going to leave there, but it did, eventually. Oh, man. Good thing we're getting the horn beast steak, right? We're going to get 20% of our health back at the end of the level, because I am just taking so much. I'd be kind of worried if I didn't uh, have enough juice boxes here. So what do we got? Uh, a couple enemies which we are taking out in like two, three hits with our damage. Hopefully these guys are going to drop some chalk for us. I'd like to kind of build up on the chalk that we are uh, starting with. Let's make our way back to... Again, why am I going through the lightning? Head up here, get the horn beast steak. Okay, and not the My Manuscript, absolutely not. And this time we'll remember to go around everything and then uh, make our way to the boss so we'll pop a juice box a single juice box just to make sure just to kind of seal the deal that we shouldn't die and what's up here just a couple of these lightnings and we've got uh, frothy so yes despite us having some issues with the level itself the boss should not be bad at all so we're gonna go ahead he is going to dip across We'll kind of hit his butt a couple times with some magic. The flame should be spawning. There it is. And we'll just keep laying into Frothy here. Uh, how's he going to go across? Going across like right there. A couple more hits on him. Okay. And he's starting to go down on health here. Just got to kind of get near him a little bit. Zoom across the level, my friend. There you go. We narrowly dodged uh, that round of fire that was coming after us. But Frothy should be out very shortly. Just sit and hit his underbelly here. Alright. And we'll just hit him right in the center of the room. Okay, so we got a C. At least we got a C walking out of this. And what do we got here? We got a sensitive or a regular? I'm going to go with regular, obviously. Sensitives never help out for me. Pardon me, I just got a little bit of tea. Uh, we have full health again, thanks in part to the Horn Beast Steak that we decided to purchase in the last floor. On the last floor, I should say. 
A uh, couple things that we're going to be looking out for. Things that increase our health, uh, things that may increase our damage. I wouldn't mind getting Goneril's Mallet or Regan's Lunchbox as a equipable item. Uh, I've only had each of them once, and I would love to be able to have them again. Uh, I'm assuming that they're just more of a rare item to show up. These green jello blobs got to go away. You just got to knock it off. There we go. And we got bubbles up the wazoo with Harry Potter here. Okay, one down, two more to go, and this room really yielded nothing for me, except for the opportunity to get a bit more experience to level up. Okay, there we go. So we're going to head back up, we're going to go to the left, and uh, we got a champion bubble blower, but uh, let's worry, eh, let's get the champion right now, I guess, since we're right next to him. I was going to say, let's get the, uh, the, the jack throwers, but... This guy shouldn't be too difficult uh, with them running wild in this room. Or we could just roll right into his bubbles since they are homing bubbles. He's almost dead though. The Solvent Bandit. Who's going to give us the Prodigal Photo Album? Another item I love getting early on in the game. Uh, we're going to get an extra 50% experience from every kill. Let us go here. Come on. And we got a level. Negative 15% move speed, but we are going to get two juice boxes in juice box capacity. Or we can get 10% attack speed, deal 30% more damage, one below 20% life. This is interesting. Um, more juice boxes would be really nice. But uh, being able to dish out a lot of damage towards death uh, is alright as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Bull I mean, they're not f fantastic options, but... Uh, I, you know, just picked the one that I think I could make work a bit more, uh, especially in the last run where we were pretty much dead for the last five minutes, but somehow we were just, you know, able to kind of pull it out a bit and stay alive a little bit longer. We need to just kind of hit some of these bosses. Yeah, hitting him from that far, and it's not even, like, making him react at all. So we got the Fedora of Crisis, yes? Okay, let's get right in here and shoot this guy. And we'll go one more time from above. He is dead. And a uh, good pickup. Reduces all damage by 25% when under 25% life. A couple tokens as well. And we're coming across a couple champions. Um, you know, uh, just the sheer amount that we are running across is nice compared to what we usually do in these early runs. I should not be running into the proximity of those uh, vats of electricity. Let's just kind of stay away from them. There we go. We found the boss room. We got a juice box as well. We could use that to heal and pick this one up. And okay. So heading back down, we're gonna venture on over to the right. And okay, so we've got like eight eight of these guys in here now, along with uh, two jack throwers. But I'm pretty good at evading damage in this room. It's it's the jack throwers that can kind of throw you off when they get you cornered a bit, but no big deal. Just sit here and just lay into the battery vat. I don't know what it is. It'll do the damage for us to some of these enemies. And uh, you're next. Okay. Yeah, just get yourself stuck in that corner. That, that's fine. Because you will die. Wow, how much HP do they have? Finally. Okay. So, the last time we came into a room like this, there was a champion one. And that gave us some issues, but... Thankfully, that's not the case this time. And we can evade that. Sit here. Hit a couple criticals. Uh, that is another thing I would like to get more of early going. Uh, I would like to be able to have a stacked up amount of being able to do critical damage. By either the fragile glassware or by a combination of the gold star and the smiley face stickers. Who knows? What do we got? Else, uh, there's another way we can leave, but it doesn't look like there's any credits or anything. Okay, we'll dodge that. He is dead. And we'll just get right in here. A couple hits. Okay. And we've got three more to go. Yeah, don't get too comfortable. You can get about three shots in on these guys before they uh, wake up and try throwing another shot at you. But there's that. One, two, three, and there we go. 
And who knows, we might be getting close to leveling up. I know we just got another level, but I think, you know, since we're still in the early goings, I don't think it's going to require too much EXP, and we're getting an extra 50% per enemy. So I think we could get another level um, before leaving this floor, or getting it at the boss. Let's see. Yeah, we're, we're absolutely going to get another level before we leave this floor. What do we got here? We have... Chorus's Goggles and Cinder's Time Key, which I hate both of them. I'm going to go ahead and get a Disquieting Drop. That way we'll heal for 25 HP as opposed to 20 every time we pop a juice box. And, uh, okay. So let's go ahead. You know, we could kill these guys, too, if we can just kind of get them all right next to each other. We could get a little bit of experience for killing them before they disappear for forever. But uh, that's not going to happen because... Oh, we got a couple of them, but... Wasted our time right there. We got, uh... Sudzy's Ice Tray, so enemies will shatter upon death. And not a fantastic item to get, but it will still help us. And the boss should be next. So beating the boss will give us a level up. And uh, if we take a, a decent amount of damage, we should go back and get that juice box. But we do have the Hornby Stake, so we could heal up to 20 uh, HP. And we've got Frozen Few. And we're going to sit and just try to avoid all of his nonsense. He should be shooting out a couple more shots. So we'll be kind of... We'll set ourselves back just a little bit here. Where are they? There they are. So get right in here, throw a couple more shots, and then Frozen Few should be making its maze. There it is. Roll out of the way, and I think we need to go to the left. Did I choose the right path? Yes, I did. And we'll have the mist kind of come this way. Get our shots in, and luckily there were a couple criticals. We'll bounce out of the way of this stuff. A couple more shots coming up any second now. And there's that. Doing a pretty good job dodging this stuff. Uh, I just opened my mouth, so of course I'm going to take a hit. But two more shots should be made. Oh, maybe not. I thought they were going to. Not the case this time. Uh, we'll head up this way. We'll duck in from the... Oh, nope. This is how we got to do it. And there we go. Got our shot off. And Frozen Few was, you know, graceful, uh, gracious enough, I should say, to create another straight-on path to him. Ah, I tried. I, I almost dodged that hit, but it ended up coming up anyway. I would like to get a couple more criticals to speed up this fight. But one more round should kill Frozen Few. Let's go ahead and go to the left. There we go. Kind of a pain in the ass this time out. Uh, okay, it's drifting, it's drifting. Let's have it spawn up here. Okay, roll in, get our shot. There we go, and it's a critical. And he gave us a straightaway again, so thank you, Frozen Few. Throw the shots now before he starts throwing out a bunch of these ice balls. Uh, okay, that was pretty lucky. And Frozen Few should be dead. Dodge that last shot coming at us. We're gonna heal all the way up anyway, so we don't have to go get the, uh, we don't have to go get that juice box. We got an A, and uh, I'm gonna take a sip of my tea real quick. Okay, so we have a leaderless floor, a regular, and a two small. I'll go with leaderless. That is fine with me. We have our level up here. 10 to damage. Offensive chalk attacks do double damage. 10% attack speed. Deal 20 more damage against bosses. I'm going to roll with 20 more damage against bosses. I would like the additional 10 damage. I mean, who wouldn't? But, um, you know, at this point, at least we can try to speed up a couple of these uh, boss fights. Especially stuff like Reagan and anything in Chapter 3, if we're as so lucky to get that far, you know? Let's go ahead and just lay a couple hits on you. And I forgot we have the spread shot, so we got to st stay away from those vats. Okay, and we're already halfway to leveling up again, which is nice. Got a big kid. Got a couple tokens, it looks like, in the corners of the room. Yep, we're going to get four tokens in this room, which is pretty a nice get. We're going to get chalk as well. I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead, get the chalk. Getting the token would be nice. And the fire should be able to come out of the corners at the bottom here. I should get this last token. 
there we go. Let's head north. And, uh, oh, geez, that's a lot of chalk kids. Ideally, getting the chair lady would be nice first, but can't even really get to her when there's all of these chalk clouds coming at us. So that's okay. We'll just sit here, lay a couple criticals on these guys. And we can get into her now, so we'll do that. Yeah, a boy. And there we go. Cordy just wrecked your ass. Got green slime. And we will go ahead and move north again. A couple more chairs. It's fine. Okay. Splinter shot again. I mean, I used to think it was a really good item, and I used to purchase it at vending machines and stuff. I don't think it's really, you know, anything to write home about anymore. We've got our boss room dead ahead. Of course, we are just going to pass on that for now. We're just going to get the token and get out of here. Finish exploring. Uh, I would like to level up before we get to our third boss. And ooh, okay. Well, we can hit that from here. They can't hit us from here, except for the chalk clouds, obviously. Let's go ahead and leave. And now we'll travel to the right. A couple more fast kids. A couple more. Oh, green blobs. I thought I was going to get out of there without taking the hit, but apparently not. Okay, so we got that. There is a couple tokens right here. The vending machine could really help us out, depending on what's inside. Let's finish these guys off quickly, please. Thank you. And we'll head north. A couple fast kids, a couple jacks laying around, a chalk. A chalkman as well. There we go. That room's pretty easy. Head back out. And I just walked over Jackson, didn't take damage, thankfully. We've got our vending machine. So we have 10. I think potato battery would be great. Uh, creates a projectile slowing field. Heedless headlamp. All enemies become light sources. That would help in the library. Let's hold off on purchasing anything. And we will explore the remainder of the floor. Maybe we'll get a bunch of tokens and be able to get both. That's, that's not going to happen. It's really not going to happen. So we're going to have to make a choice. Uh, I am probably going to go with the projectile slowing field. Just because that ensures our survival now compared to the headlamp. Where that's really going to benefit us in the library. That's way later on. It's not even guaranteed we'll get that far. It's usually a guarantee that we're going to beat Goneril. Um, no matter how rough, rough of a shape we are in. It just happens, but let's go ahead and get away from the chairs. Can we actually hit her? No, not from there. We got to level up. 20 to move speed or negative 25 to life, 15 tokens. This sucks. Um, we could get enough for both, right? Uh, but I don't want to go down any more life than I already have. Let's roll with the move speed. And I just took damage. <laughs> Fantastic. What do we have? Yeah, we um, we could have bought both if we took that level. That would have been just enough. And I'm, I ate my own words. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to get the projectile slowing field either. Because that's it. We've covered all the other levels here. So. Do we buy the heedless headlamp? We buy the heedless headlamp. I have yet to get it. And I'll take it, even if there is no chance that we're going to get to the library. Oh, yeah, even the spikes generate light. That's uh, that's pretty helpful. Let's see here. Okay, so we, now we have Sudsy. We had Frothy, now we're at Sudsy. Let's see if he wants to hit his own little glacial spike, because he's a big dum-dum. Probably not. Nope. Oh, he, look, maybe he did hit it. I'm not sure. But we're going to go here. Keep dodging his attacks. Um, it's apparent that the extra 20% damage to bosses is helping a lot. I mean, how fast this fight is going at the moment. Him running into that glacial spike just now, I saw the damage happen to him. And we're going to be finishing him off uh, rather quickly this time out. We could probably get him right here. Or at least when he crosses back over. Or the glacial spike will kill him. There we go. And he is dead. 
I said he is dead. There we go. So we bested uh, Sudzy without taking any damage. We're going to finish this level. We got an A ranking, and we are moving on to the Wildwards Fortress. Okay. Let's go ahead. And yeah, so demonstrating the light source here. And we've got uh, a champion down here who is throwing confusion chalk at us. Okay, let's avoid the confusion chalk, please. I just He's in a rough spot where it's I really have to get super close to him. So if he spawns that cloud, I don't get many opportunities to get some hits on him. But that's okay. Just roll back down here, get a couple more shots in. Okay, and he should be dead in just a moment. One more hit should do it. Two more hits. And it's the My Manuscript. An item that I loathe. Even with uh, the upgrade it has to it, thanks to the patch. I'm going to token here. Start to rebuild our tokens. We have already found the fortress. Which is interesting. And uh, let's go up this way. And okay. And we'll roll out. Try to avoid all of this. And it looks like there's only one form, uh, one way to attack in here. We'll just... Oh, I rolled right into chalk. I wasn't paying attention at all. I was unaware of everything, except for the chairs. Okay, let's try to take you out. We got one enemy done. We're just going to keep making the circle, I guess. Just the chalk kind of... Uh, tries to follow us and we can get a couple more hits in. Let's kill him real quick. There we go. Nice dodge. And there we go. That finished that off. Only one way to go in this room, so we're going to head up. Uh, this kid wants us. He's so into us. Okay, we've got our vending machine and we can't buy anything at. Edgewood Hall Pass. 100% dodge on first attack every room. I would love that. That's a free hit every room. At the start of every room, I should say. But we're going to need 14 more tokens. Um, yeah, that's definitely not going to happen this time. Because the only way we were able to get that amount of tokens last time was a level perk. Where I had to, you know, submit 25 HP over and uh, get those tokens. So I just rolled right into the chair, apparently. Not that good. We're at 90 health here. Um, okay. So we've got, like, four fast kids... And I am so boned. Let's roll right out of there. <laughs> I cornered myself. We've also got um, a couple globe throwers that can destroy my cover here. So let's keep moving. We need to kill these guys and fast. There we go. Don't run into the globes. Ah, I did anyway. Okay. A couple more shots right there. A couple criticals at least. And he should be dead in a second. There we go. One more token. And there's nothing else in this room, right? No. There is not. We head south. Once again. A couple more fast kids. A couple more tokens. Ah. Taking some silly damage here. Okay. And, you know, maybe the game's trying to make me eat my own words here. Saying that, uh, you know, it's pretty much a given that we can beat Goneril every time we do a run. Okay. Got some good dodging going on here. And we'll make it so we can get up here. A couple more shots. And one more kid. And these kids are the Brogs? Is that their names? I believe that's what they are called. I have a feeling that there's a chair somewhere in this room. There is not. Thankfully. So I was standing still for a really long time. One more kid. There we go. And, uh... Yeah, we should be leveling up before the boss fight. Hopefully it'll be a great perk. I would like that very much so. Let's work on taking these kids out. Oh, I missed that kid, apparently. Okay, 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 okay. Fast kid. Shot kid, and there we go. Heading down here. As you can tell, I'm really not using the My Manuscript because it's terrible. Let's go ahead. Just eh, Let's not get ourselves cornered, shall we? Looks like there's only three of you this time out. Please disappear. Alright. One more of these guys. And you're too late, Phantom Kid. I already killed the chalk producers. 
to the right, and it's going to be a chest room. Because we got all these flames. Open this up. Fragile glassware. All right. I love this item. 100% critical chance until we take up to 80 damage. I have been taking a lot of damage this run, but you know what? From here on out, we're going to give we're going to play it a bit more safe. Uh, let's go ahead, take out the chair, and then we're going to worry about globe throwers, I think. Uh, no, the fast kid might actually... The fast kids take less damage to kill, I believe. And I rolled into a globe anyway, just when I said I was going to play it safe. Okay, you guys got to knock it off. Wow, even with 100% critical. It's taking a while to kill these guys. Goes to show how low my damage is. Uh, we did get our health, or our uh, bonus, though. 5% move speed or 25 to life. Juice boxes permanently increase health by 4. We are taking that. We're going to pop one. And uh, there we go. Let's go ahead and... Yeah, that's the rest of the floor. We only have 9 tokens. We could buy a juice box. Unfortunately, we can't buy the hall pass. So let's just go to the boss. And then um, we'll see if it's worth going to buy some juice boxes or not. Okay. And we'll sit here and attempt to take out the shacks really quickly. My manuscript is our equipable item. Obviously not the greatest item in the world. Let's go ahead and focus on this next. We've got a fast kid coming out. Um, apparently I popped the my manuscript anyway. And uh, it threw a shitload more papers out, I'll tell you that. So at least we know that it has a, a different uh, look to it. We need to take out the shacks. We need to focus on taking out the shacks. We need to do it quickly before more enemies show up. Look at all the light source in this. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Don't roll into the shots, please. Come on, Cordy. You're better than that. I don't want to lose my 100% critical so quickly, you know? It's kind of a bummer that that'll probably end up happening uh, before we get to even the next boss in Chapter 2. Holy shit, there's a lot of you guys. And these shots are taking like 7 damage from me each time, so I'm not happy about that. I popped a juice box. Increasing our health by 4 again. And uh, then we're just going to focus on Goneril here. As soon as she shows up, which should be any second, come on. There you are. We're going to take out the fortress real quick, and then uh, Goneril will be on our list of things to do. Okay, here we go. So she's going to jump again, apparently. If she starts getting in a loop of this, I am going to be kind of pissed off, a little irritated. There we go. Now she's starting to go for us. Let's get these criticals in on her. And we're doing, not only are we doing critical, we're doing 20% more damage to her. Because she is a boss. And that is a level perk that we have. She's going to land right there. She's going to get bigger and bigger. I just don't want her to do that jump again. I just want her to keep doing this. We can get her in a pattern of that. That would be nice. Okay. Goneril is almost done here. And we have defeated her and finished off Chapter 1. Let's go ahead and roll through. Got a C ranking on there, which isn't fantastic, but it's okay. I probably should have went back to the vending machine and got more juice boxes, but that's okay. And thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and comment on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.